I like to think I'm a pretty calm and cool character. But there are some things that just drive me crazy. In the darkness for 40 days. Now most of the time when I'm on a shoot, I'm behind a camera. And when you're behind a camera, you never trust autofocus. My main camera doesn't even have autofocus. Like, it's not even an option. And that's how most high-end cinema cameras are. In fact, in a movie, there's a guy behind the camera who just moves the camera, and then there's a whole other dude whose sole job is to keep manually focusing things that should be in focus. Like, that's his entire job. Why? Because of things like this. Now, since I started vlogging, there has been one bane to my existence. One thing that drives me crazier than anything else. I have to keep setting the focus manually. Or risk... No, I will know that what I want to see on the camera, what I want to be in focus, the one thing that I want the camera to focus on, is going to keep going out of focus. Now I know that cell phones have some pretty amazing autofocus, but they also have a very, very poor depth of field and not the best color profile. From a phone, like it, it'll, it'll be good. Like, you know, usable, I, I used it. Uh, I don't like it. Plus, there's this problem. Okay, so like sort of 15 minutes late, sort of 20 minutes late. Now I could use a GoPro. And I still trust it when I need to fit into some really tight spaces. That's what she said. But as you can see, these keep everything in focus. Now they're awesome when you're hiking or running or have no idea what might happen. But if you're trying to tell a story or make sort of like mini movies, like what I want a lot of these to sort of turn into, that everything visibility takes away from what you're trying to get somebody to focus on. The other problem is I'll be out and about and I'll find something like on the spot. I'll be like, yes. Like, lugging this sucker around is not the easiest or most inconspicuous thing to do. I mean, look at that. It's, it's not gonna work. So a cell phone size is good, but a dedicated camera is always gonna be better. Now the other problem is that I also use this camera right here as a secondary for a lot of the videos that I make for my clients. And I also use it as my primary photography camera when I'm doing real estate shoots. Plus, it's been a stressful couple weeks, so Let's do some retail therapy. Now, here's the criteria. One, it has to fit in my pocket. Two, it has to turn on and be ready to go faster than my cell phone with all of its little security measures. Dude, I'm not gonna show you my pattern. And most importantly, autofocus. Like seriously, the whole point of me talking and rambling like this right now is because I demand when I'm on the go to be able to have autofocus and not have to manually like reach my hand out. And now from what I can tell, the only thing that actually fits this bill comes from Sony. I'm sorry, Panasonic. So we're gonna go test out the new Sony ZV-1. Not like, I'm just gonna buy it. And I think with a little selfie stick, it'll actually probably work out just fine. I mean, I hope so. I mean, we'll, we'll find out, of course. Like, I don't know yet. I haven't gotten it yet. <laughs> there it is in all its glory. Check that sec, oh. Is it, is it blurry? Oh yeah, has to be set to manual. But anyway, oh. check this puppy out. That's right, autofocus. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Watch how fast this starts, ready? That's it, it's ready to go. You wanna turn it off? Close it, done. This thing is a beast, it's a small beast. Also, this bad boy supports live streaming, so I'm gonna be able to record my brother's wedding uh, and live stream it for everybody because that was something that they wanted and I couldn't do that before. I'm pumped. Look at how tiny it is. That's what she said.